Okay. Have a go at question 11. Start with that. So it's an algebraic fraction and we want to solve it as well. <coughs> So, how are you feeling about it? Is it easy? I'm just doing it. Okay, but is it going, do you think it's going okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm going to just start writing a few things. Ooh, I'm just going to write the shortcut version. Have you seen what's on your screen? What I've written? Um, yeah. Is that anything like what you did? It's kind of shortcut. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Because obviously mm -hmm. you multiply the denominators, which is the same as that. And then you cross multiply. Mm. Is it 5x minus 5? Then x squared minus 1. So if we multiply the first bracket out, you get 2x minus 2. Second bracket is 3x plus 3. So the 2x and the 3x make 5x. The 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 and then plus 3. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1 mm -hmm. equals... Yeah, and I, I, I was almost going to leave this out completely, you know, because it, basically that's what we're supposed to say, isn't it? Since the bottoms are the same, the tops are going to be the same? Mm, yeah. Yeah, and then 5x plus 1 equals 5, minus 1, so 5x equals 4, x equals 4 fifths. Yes. Cool. Is that what you got, or you got um, slightly different? I think it sounded like you made a small mistake somewhere. You said 5x minus 1 or something? Um, I don't know. But okay, if that makes sense, that's the main thing, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I did x plus 1, x minus 1, and then okay, instead of x. you did it in more steps, you mean? Maybe. Yeah, because x squared minus 1 is x plus 1 times x minus 1, isn't it? Maybe. You, maybe, maybe. Last time you were really good with this difference of two squares thing. Yeah. Yeah? Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, I could write it out slowly and show them all, all the steps. No, it's You're fine. Okay, yeah? Cool. Okay. We'll just do another one. Yeah, exactly. Good idea. So, yeah, look at the next one. 12. I think that's fairly easy, maybe. I'm not sure. I think it's fairly easy. Which one? Twelve. Uh, yeah, twelve A. Twelve A is really good setting you up for twelve B. And is, uh, what was that sound? Just out of interest, what was that sound that made a lot of? Is that did you rub it? I just. Paper? Yeah, I was just taking paper out of my notepad. Oh, that's just interesting. Paper makes that weird sound in the microphone. Mm, three. But you use a headset, don't you? Mm, yeah. So the microphone's near your mouth? No, I haven't got one with the microphone yet. Oh, yeah, get one with the microphone near your mouth. And I think the microphone, because you've got paper next to the microphone, that's why it makes all those weird sounds. Yeah. You're very close to it because the microphone is on the bottom of the, on the laptop level. Anyway, cool. Yes.
I think this one's too easy. It's not that it's it's not. It is easy, and it's supposed to be easy because part A. But what makes it interesting is part B. So you use what you're about, what you do in part A. Okay. I'm just going to check I'm using the right microphone because I set up quite quickly. Do you hear that tapping? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm using the right microphone. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to jump ahead because I think you know this. Do you know what I mean? It's that, that, yeah? Yeah. And then 9 over 2x equals 2. I did that, but I don't know how, why it was 9 over... Oh, 9 over 2x equals 2. Yeah. But don't you have to multiply the other side? And then you can move it to that side. No, like, do you, you have to multiply the other side by 2 as well? Or not? No, because that's already got bot denominator 2x beforehand. Shall, shall I... Let's quickly show the steps. So... Okay, so before it was... 3 over 2, uh, uh, let's get rid of that now, it's too messy. Okay, so uh, it was 3 over x, and then we multiplied top and bottom by 2. But the other Wait, what? One, we two. Multiplied, yeah. Exactly, the other one was already 3 over, <coughs> over 2x. And you didn't do anything. You kind of multiplied it by one, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, and they're obviously still equal to two and all that. Okay, and then you know nine equals four x nine over four. X equals nine over four. Yeah. Nine equals five to four x. Do you get it? Yeah, but why do you times the other one by two x? Ah, it's, it was divide by 2x, so it goes to the other side and becomes times by 2x. Do you remember opposite? What, what, what one's time, but divided by 2x? Okay, so let's quickly, let's point at stuff. Okay, so, oh, let's undo a little bit of it. Okay, so what can I undo? Okay, so you've got 9 over, or let me write it again. Maybe that'll be clearer or something. No, let me quickly do it. Quickly. So, say, so, do you appreciate? Okay, no, no. I'm gonna rub out some stuff because I think that'll make it clearer. Okay, so let's do that again. All right. Um, let's even rub that out. Okay. So, we're saying you you agree that nine over two x equals two. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you got divide by two x, you move it to the other side, make it times by two x. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, that's it. 9 and 2 times 2x is 4x. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm explaining the wrong thing because you sound like, oh yeah, of course. But um, is there something I missed out? And then, did, did you understand mm. this? So it'll be 9x over 2x and then you put it on the other side, which is 4x. And then it'll be 9 over 4. Yes, yeah, that's right. So that all makes sense? Yeah. Cool, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna. Ha you see, with part B, this part B here, there's different skill levels. There's people, there's the best skill level, and you're really supposed to use your answer. You could start from the beginning, wouldn't, which would not be so skillful, but not too bad, I suppose, but not really that good. You really want to use your answer, otherwise, you're gonna lose marks. Using your answer for part A. How, what would you do? And how can you use your answer for part A? What, uh, why would you get to use your answer for part A to help you in part B? Uh, because, um, it's equal to two again. Well, there's a lot more than that. <laughs> um, but it's not obvious. I'm, I, I'm saying it as if it's obvious because I've seen this extra question millions of times. Well, not millions, but a lot of times, yeah. So, um, 
maybe it's more obvious to me without me even looking too carefully but um yeah there's a lot more so they're both there's three on the they're both three on the numerator and the denominator's doubled exactly. on the second one very very similar so instead of x and 2 instead of x you're getting this whole y minus 1 squared oh I even I should have highlighted the squared thing included yeah so is that is like an x and then you've got two of them we're over here you had two of them as well so mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty it's almost the same thing everything is the same so you can imagine all the working out is going to be the same so you're going to start off you know you start off with the same thing except for so it'll be nine over a uh, two and then two and then bracket y exactly. minus one square everything's going to be the same and then you're going to what's the last line going to be then in um in the working out for this well last line that compares to this i should say um Mm -hmm. So instead mm -hmm. of x, what have I got? Y. So it'll be like. No, not just y. I'm I've got a whole y squared. Y. What, uh, y minus 1 squared. Yeah. And that is equal to. 4. 4. X. Oh, equals to <laughs> 9 over 4. That's it. Very good. Okay. So we we skipped loads of stuff and we went da 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 and all the way down there we're on that and the whole so we've used part A so you've got a couple of marks for that okay but we haven't solved it yet so let's get a couple more marks by solving this so this is interesting how do you so solve that go on. do you have to like expand the bracket. That would make it hard. I think that that could work. So if you sp expanded it, you would get y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals 9 over 4. And you've got a horrible quadratic to solve. Right? Because that would go to this side. Okay. And then it would equal 0 like normal quadratics. But imagine that. 9 minus 9 over 4. That's... Uh, minus 5 over 4 it's a horrible thing it's a horrible thing you've got a whole you, that's going to be 5 over 4 so you've never done a 5 over 4 kind of fraction of you I suppose you could you could get so you I'm just saying 1 minus 9 over 4 do you know what that is? 1 minus 9 it's minus 5 over 4 because you treat the 1 as a 4 over 4. 4 over 4, does that make sense? Yes, it'll be minus... It'll be minus... Minus 5, yeah. Yeah, and what you could do to make that easier, because you never dealt with a fraction of the fact, I mean, you really don't want to anyway, right? So what could it'll you do? It'll be minus 1.2. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay, you could either put it into a formula, or you could times everything by 4. This is just extra stuff. I, you really, I wouldn't really recommend doing it this way, but it's good to know just in case you get a horrible quadratic like that for some reason, and you have to do it this way, yeah? And then you solve that. But that's really long, and I think you could solve this, yeah? But let's leave yeah. it, because this is really not what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, yeah. what you're supposed to recognize is that this is something squared. Can you see they're both square numbers? Oh, yeah. So what would you do? So would you do y minus 1 equals to 3 over 2? Excellent. But slightly better than that. When you square root something... We're talking about higher level students. When you square root something, you have to remember something. Square root. When you square root, what's the square root of 9? 3, um, plus or minus yeah, 3. Yeah, so basically what we're saying is this. Yeah, and then you add 1. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that means two possible things. What two possible things does that mean? Y equals... Mm. 
bit difficult. 2.5. Oh, come on, give me fractions. I'll, I'll turn the 1 into 2 over 2, yeah? So what are you going to get? 5 over 2. Plus 5 over 2, minus 5 over 2. No, 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 don't make that mistake. It's not opposite the whole thing. So it's it's like 2 over 2 plus 3 over 2, and 2 over 2 minus 3 over 2. So 2 over 2, so 2 plus 3 is 5, yeah? And 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Minus 1, yeah. yeah. And it's over 2, yeah? So basically, if you have the minus over there, you should really put it in the front. Do you know what I mean? So minus okay. half. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bit messy, I suppose. I should clean that up and let's see if I can grab it just in that tiny gap. Will it let me? Will it let me? Yeah, it kind of is. Okay. Anyway, the best thing, that's what we've got. Okay, so um, we've got the two answers. And that's it. Uh, I suppose that was quite good in making you think about really hard questions like that, where it looks really complicated, but it's not actually that complicated. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I mean, you probably don't. Well, you want to stick to your list, isn't it? So you don't want to yeah. get a bit distracted with rearranging. So let's go to 14. So oh my first, god. What do you mean, oh my god? Oh, so long. It's just like the last question. Not, well, it's like this question. Question 11. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, that's okay. what the whole point of this kind of stuff is. That you kind of go, oh my god, that's just the same as all those other questions I've done. It's not so hard. Well, that's the, Eventually, you'll hopefully be saying that soon, yeah? Oops, let me just get yeah. rid of all this mess. This looks completely wrong. Can you see what I've done? Uh, yeah. Minus 12, minus... Minus 3? Three. 3 times 3. Oh yeah, you're right. See, I'm always making silly mistakes. Look at that. Okay, minus 9, minus 12... <laughs> That's minus 21. Let me make that a bit neater. Okay. Yeah, good spot there. Yeah. I think that's right now. Yeah. And do you have to add an X? But an S. That. Yeah? Is that what you meant? Yeah. Cool. So. So it'll be over minus 21 over 6. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What what really what made you think um, that you really got it wrong? Because it didn't it, look right. It looked really crazy, yeah. Yeah. But you were kind of doing the right stuff. Yeah. See, it's a confidence thing when you know, yeah. So let's keep practicing, keep practicing, and then you won't feel that. Okay. Simplify. Do you want to do simplify? Because we kind of mm -hmm. got past that. <coughs> It's up to you. It's up to you. Okay, I'll just do it. Yeah, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
would be x over 2x minus uh, plus 3. Cool. Yeah, you got. Yeah, cool. All right. And 17, because mm. 16 is not really what we're doing at the moment. Okay. We did to times the first one by x. Excellent. Yeah, good thinking. So it looks a little bit different to the usual ones, yeah. Yeah, but then would the top be x squared then? Oh, yeah. okay. Nice one. X squared minus two over two x minus two. Uh, no, just that. X minus two. Yeah. yeah okay. Cool. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Well done. So, all right. So I think we've practiced that. What's the? Do you want to do the next thing on your list? Okay. And um, the next thing is. Sure, this is recording the right We're done adding and subtracting, right? There's multiplying and dividing. I, I put 